Hello YouTube! In my previous video I demonstrated how to use graphite transfer paper to transfer your image from your reference photo onto your drawing paper. And I also showed another method where all you had to do was to rub graphite on the back of your reference printout, just regular paper, and then you can just lay it down and trace and transfer the outline onto your paper. And I've already started on the rose drawing here based on that demonstration uh, that I had done. But in this video, I'm going to show you another method as promised, and that is how to transfer your reference photo onto your drawing paper using a light box. Okay, let's get started with it. Now, I can't use this drawing paper anymore because I've already started on it. So I'm going to get that out of the way. And here is my printout just from an inkjet printer. You can do it from a laser jet printer. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can even use a photograph. Um, the only thing is, is you know, you don't want the paper to be too thick that the light can't shine through. And I'm going to be using my Artograph light tracer, light box. And this I just bought at my local Hobby Lobby here in town. And I use it for a couple of things. I use it for the MB grading tests that I do in some of my pencil videos. And if I'm in a real rush, I will use it to transfer a quick image onto my drawing paper so I can just get right to work and, and get the job finished right away um, when I don't really feel like doing the grid or any other kind of method. All you have to do is just lay your reference photo of course face up the way you want it on your light box just like I'm doing here. Then you want to put your drawing paper in this case it's just I'm going to use just regular printer paper here and you just put that on top like so. So your drawing paper is on the top your reference photo is on the bottom. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the light box on and as you can see the image shows through the paper making it very easy to trace. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn off some of the lighting here to make it easier to see. There we go. And you can see that that really does shine through quite well. And so all you have to do at this point is just come in here and outline your reference, all your key lines. This is really simple. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and speed this video up.
Okay, I think I pretty much have done what I'm going to do. And you could also outline the the box as well, but I'm not going to bother. And then you probably could see it. I'm going to go turn the light on here, and hopefully I don't wash this out. There we go. I might have more light than I need here, but there you go. And if you're wondering why I did all this scribbling in here, is I was just pretty much marking off the really, really, really dark areas in here just to help me quickly note where I'm going to go really, really dark. But you can do whatever you want. But you can see how easy it is to trace your reference image onto your drawing paper using a relatively inexpensive, they are probably, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks for one of these things. You know, and you can use one of these to, you know, do all your own outlines. Anyway. So that's it for this quick demonstration. It's very simple. There's not much more that has to be done with that. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Leave your comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.